Hello and welcome to the um, subcontractor under construction industry demo that I'm going to do for you. Okay, so this is the demo company within Xero. I am using Xero um, accounting software. And to, in order to set up the construction um, industry side in a business, if you haven't set it up already, I'm now gonna show you how to do that. So in the accounting tab at the top here, and you go to advanced, you go to financial settings and in here it will give you all of your tax parts so it's your VAT and here you've got construction industry scheme so it enables the CIS in your chart of accounts so that you can file the CIS monthly return so it tells you asks you here if you are a registered contractor or if you are a registered subcontractor now we are setting at the moment we're doing this as an, a we are a registered contractor so that means we employ subcontractors to carry out work. So I'm going to tick that here. And in here you need to put in the unique taxpayers reference for the company, the accounts office reference, and then the employer's PAYE reference. And once those have been added, it will enable then the chart of accounts to read um, the CIS deductions. So I've entered in just some um, made up unique taxpayer reference account reference and the paye reference and then you just click save at the bottom it will tell me then that the financial settings for the demo have been updated so now i'm going to go into the um, chart of accounts so you can actually see what i mean by the additional um, nominal codes that have happened so here now you have the cis labor expense and the cis materials purchased now I'm going to add a contact and add in their details for the subcontractor that's going to be working for said client. So I'm now gonna to go to contacts, all contacts. I'm going to add a new contact and I'm gonna call him Jack Smith. So it's Jack Smith. If I scroll down, it's now given me the financial details, a CIS contractor, subcontractor, enable deductions, and we tick yes. Then once we've verified the um, uh, subcontractor in here, it will give you gross, which is the 0%, which means you don't need to do any deductions. The standard is 20 and the higher rate is 30%. So I'm going to put in 20. Organisation type is a sole trader, his national insurance number, the unique tax payers reference, and the verification code, which I believe is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to leave all the rest of it because that's that's totally different at the moment. Save contact and verify CIS details. So in here, you can actually verify through the HMRC website straight from here. Um, so if I just click on this, I don't think it will go through to the HMRC website, but it will tell you to verify the subcontractor, you need the CIS contractor add-on. So the subcontractor role is required to add this to your subscription. Um, so you can do that and it costs at £5 per month, but you can alternatively go into the HMRC Government Gateway um, to add them and verify them as well, um, which I will show you in a different demo how to actually verify a subcontractor. So I'm going to return to contact and I'm just going to go save for the moment. So now I'm going to add a purchase invoice from Jack Smith to us for his services so I'm going to go and add a bill so I'm going to date it for today due date in seven days so I can put plus seven in here and that will just give me seven days on top of the one that we've put in in the date reference I'm just going to put in here um, invoice 001 I'm going to put on here labor and because we verified him as 20%, I'm going to put in here a thousand pound. 
and I'm going to start putting in labour. So there you are, CIS labour that's come up. He is not VAT registered, so I'm going to put that as zero rated. And as you can see now, the thousand pound, it's then taken out the CIS deduction of 20%, and it now leaves me with an 800 pound that I need to send to Jack Smith. So it's already made the deduction of £200. I'm now going to add another contact and do them at a different rate so you can see. So I'm going to add a new contact and I'm going to put in here Joe Bloggs. Come down to CIS, enable deductions. The CIS rate I'm going to do at 30% because he wasn't now sometimes when they're not verified or they can't be verified you do it at the higher rate and that does come up sometimes with an HMRC it could be that they're a new um, subcontractor and HMRC website hasn't updated yet it could be that we might have had a digit wrong within the unique text payers reference or their national insurance number so there might be a few de um, denominators as regards to what might not happen so and it, or it might be that they have been verified and HMRC are saying no we need to do it at the higher rate and they will tell you that but you'll see that in the other demo that I will be doing as regards to verifying each individual subcontractor. So the organisation type is a sole trader, his national insurance number is JX2056 Charlie, unique taxpayer reference and his verification code And then save and then I'm going to do the same here and add a bill so we've had a purchase invoice from him I'm going to put seven days reference invoice dash 100 in here I'm just going to write labor in the description I'm going to put thousand pound and then it will be CIS labor is zero rated fat and there you see it's deducted 30 percent which is now 300 which we're only due to pay seven so i'm going to prove that and now i'm going to show you how a cis return um, will be um, how a cis return is now processed within zero so to quickly give you an overview of the additional uh, nominal codes that have now been entered into the chart of accounts, once you've set up the organisation for CIS, these are the additional accounts that are actually now present within my chart of accounts. So I've got CIS labour income, CIS labour expense, CIS materials purchased, the CIS asset and the CIS liability. And just to show you that once the CIS is enabled for an organisation, it can't be disabled. So make sure you understand how CIS in zero works before you set it up. Um, nine times out of ten, whenever I set it up, I know that it's it's what we need to be set up for future. Um, so you, in theory, it never ever is, needs to be disabled. So just a bit as a warning, it needs to be done. So in order to be able to run my CIS reports, I need to obviously pay them first so as you can see um, we're paying them today I know it's a week early from what we put in the um, purchase invoice but these are the two payments and it's obviously intelligent enough to bring up those two um, invoices that are ready to reconcile so I'm just going to reconcile these two and then I'm going to now go up into my account into my reports and my CIS contractor my monthly return my online filing and my statements and it tells me now that I've got £500 to pay, which was the 20% at 200 30% at 300 that's my £500. So if I click into this, I can download a statement, which is quite useful. Um, I'm just going to go save for that at the moment, and then I'm going to open it up so you can see what it looks like. So this is the construction industry payment deduction statement that we need to send to our contractors for that particular month. Now I've downloaded and saved in the unit section um, a HMRC um, form 
which is the same thing which you can actually override but zero actually do their own deduction um, statement for you and this is basically what this looks like when I come out of this so those are the downloads for the statements this is the amount mark has submitted so this is where you can submit your return through the HMRC gateway you can download download the payment deduction statement so you can send them to your subcontractors and you can email payment and deduction statements to each subcontractor if you've got their email already in Xero uh, itself in the contacts um, to file the direct to HMRC state uh, to send statements as a bulk you need to make sure that the CIS contractor add-on is part of the subscription which costs obviously five pounds a month um, and you can add um, CIS subcontractor sorry CIS contractor to subscriptions here so the page is not found and that's purely because um, it's a demo it's a demo site so we've marked it as being submitted you can go into HMRC website and actually do it through the company and submit those and I will show you how that's done shortly so this concludes pretty much what Xero is quite capable of doing um, as this is not set up as I say with the um, subscription because it's a demo company then you can't see how it basically submits so you just put your gateway ID in your password you click submit and it will actually send it via Xero so you don't actually need to go through the HMRC website as it's uh, um, through the HMRC website as it is um, <coughs> so pretty much this is how the reports for the CIS subcontractor uh, sorry the contractor for the subcontractors there's also the monthly return that you can actually print off as well um, and it will tell you here that this was the total payments and um, total payments excluding VAT then the liable of the deduction and then the amount withheld so this is the amount that you've taken off of your subcontractors and that's your, what you're going to be now paying on the 19th of every month it's due um, you need to submit and pay so it's always around the 19th of the month um, but yeah this is pretty much what um, Xero can do it's quite self-explanatory quite straightforward I absolutely love Xero it's one of my favorite um, accounting software but if you do have any problems as regards to um, the CIS side if you are using Xero then please let me know um, alternatively um, have a look in the Facebook group um, to see if there's anything additional that might be, I might be adding but until then hopefully this will be very good for you um, quite interesting and uh, as I say let me know if there's any problems cheers bye